going on there, Tackle Junkies? Jamie Bruce here, coming at you with a brand new innovation from BT Fishing. We developed this a few years ago. It's a hybrid between a, a totally weedless Texas rig and a swim jig. Uh, may not mean much to you saying that, uh, but the reason I created this thing is to have a totally weedless bait um, that we can fish both surface and subsurface for largemouth and smallmouth bass. This thing's on a unique design where it's actually got a swinging jig head to an EWG Gamagatsu super line hook, custom lead keeper, all high end components. We don't want any of this stuff busting up when you're drilling them. And then we've got a super weedless bullet head and a fine thread silicone skirt in all the colors you need. So there's a couple different ways to fish this. I mean, it's super versatile. Uh, we kind of designed it to just have one bait to pick up and go, you know, fish a lot of shallow vegetation, wood, um, you know, even submergent vegetation. So I'll show you. Um, one thing I really like to do with this is to use a four inch Z-Man diesel minnow. And you can use any swim bait you want, to be honest, but the Z-Man just holds on here the best. If you miss a fish, it's gonna stay. If there's a lot of pike where you live, um, you're just not gonna be beating up your swim baits. So I'll show you how to do it here. Start in. And with the Z-Man, you only have to take a little, a little bit of the, the plastic. Run it up. Thread it over that custom lead keeper. And adding that thing really made it so we're able to, to run this on here. Then all you do is Texas rig it. These diesel minnows are perfect for this because they've got that hook slot. And then that sucker's totally buried. I mean, you can hardly see the hook just looking at it. So once you get that diesel minnow on there, or like I said, any swim bait you want is fine. Uh, this is just my preferred one. Uh, now you just have a compact little weedless package. Uh, if you want to swim it out on the outside of the grass, that's fine. If you want to huck it into the lily pads as far as you can or into the bush, no problem. Um, you can buzz it on the surface, you can let it go down, run it subsurface. It's just super versatile, uh, catches largemouth and smallmouth, and uh, it's, it's impossible to get snagged. I mean, that's the whole premise of the clean jig. Um, there's just really no downside to it. If the fish gurgles on you, you can just let her sink and you've got, you know, it's got that skirt. Slow fall like a flipping jig, it'll eat it. Buzz it on the surface like a, like a skinny dipper, they'll eat it. So, so one thing that separates this from, you know, different swim jigs or, or like Texas rigging a, a skinny dipper or something like that is this, you know, wobble style head. Uh, it deflects off like pad stems and reeds and does a lot of crazy things. It's almost like chatterbaitish and in how it moves so just a, a different look that the fish really don't get and you know we've had it for a few years one of those things have won a few derbies on it kept it under the hat for a while and now she's on the shelf <laughs>